Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, pretty much where Red Dead is pretty much always a 421 for me, and it has been for a few days now. I wonder if I actually go back and look at some of my last a few daily challenge videos, if it actually is a 421 and currently daylight in there but yeah it literally never changes time frames well we're just gonna check it again and it's gonna be 421 which is really interesting because i was actually playing with a friend a little bit earlier today and it was nighttime they sent me a screenshot a text message and it was dark for them and i sent them a picture of what it looked like for me and it's in the middle of the day or end of the afternoon and whatnot and yeah so it's kind of funny it's glitched out, but I can leave the game, come back in, and it's still the exact same time. It is ridiculous. Wait, wait, in today's video, we're going to be going over the method to find Madame Nazar that is 100% free. Now, if you guys didn't check out my other method, I definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and do that. It will be your worth your while if you guys are always looking for Madame Nazar. You no longer need me or any other YouTuber to tell you guys where you can find a Mad Nazar every single day. That's why a majority of people watch those videos is specifically to find Mad Nazar, but I'm here to tell you that you guys can do it one of two ways. One is utterly and completely free, which is what we're going to be going in today's video. However, it might not be updated as soon as Mad Nazar changes. There is that possibility, so just be aware of that in the future so if you happen to go over there as soon as Mad Nazar changes and it still shows her old location then you might have to wait a while and sometimes honestly you do have to wait up to a couple hours afterwards for the most part it usually updates within the first 10 minutes of Mad Nazar changing but it is not the method that I use to personally do that the other video will actually tell you guys how to do it however it does cost a little bit of in-game currency in order to get that so I definitely recommend that you guys check that video out uh, after you watch this video because you want to know how to do the free episode or the freeway first right right but anyway i do have something special at the end of the video well i'm gonna call it special but uh make sure that you guys watch the video till the very end but anyway let's go ahead and dive into madame nazar's free method to find her each and every day very simply yep that's correct it is the red dead online map now, there is a lot of flexibility for using this map. It's not something that I actually use on a regular basis. However, this map is actually what I use to be able to get my cycles that were available for the collection sets. So if you guys actually look on the left-hand corner of the screen, you guys can actually go ahead and see that we have fossils, American wildflowers. Now, they aren't numbered, so I actually have, I had to know, and I do know, like based on where the American wildflowers are at for the day, like this one right here, and what the actual number for the day is actually going to be. And that's how I was able to do it. And then what I would do is I would write it down and that's how I would present it in each of my videos. So I guess that's a little tip and trick for you guys. If you guys are looking for collectibles, this map actually shows you every single location every single day, because honestly, quite frankly, you don't need to know the cycle number each and every single day you just need to know the location cycle numbers just gave you guys an opportunity to follow along with videos if you didn't want to use an interactive map like this in your adventures here in reddit online but it's not necessarily just for the different collection sets and their current cycles and things like that they can be used for a lot of other things and i think that's where i'm going to spend a little bit more time in it so that you guys fully understand how to actually use this thing to the most of your benefit now i go through and a lot of people you know wanted to know uh some really good locations of where you guys can find herbs every single day this mac map actually has a link to another map that actually tells you exactly all that information now i didn't necessarily need to actually go ahead and do all that remember it i i pl been playing for two and a half years i know and i had spots that i always went to for very specific herbs I never really used it, but there was a couple things that I have used this thing for in the past. I haven't, I don't use, really use it too much except for to figure out what the daily collection sets were and their current cycles because they change earlier than Mad Mazar moves. And obviously you can see her right here on the map that she is just outside of Emerald Station for today. 
Now, you can actually turn her off, so if for whatever reason she isn't showing on the map, you have to make sure that you turn her on. You can actually turn on all the different fast travel locations. You can put your own user pins in here. You can have your different random encounters and things like that that are allowed on here and whatnot. So you can see that I clicked on that and that actually opened up a brand new map. And that's actually what we're gonna go ahead and go over in a little bit more detail in this. But there's a lot of different options that you guys can look for. Now, the one thing I will tell you guys is I tried to compare it for some of my videos and whatnot for doing some of the treasure maps. And say you guys are going to do a Bard's Crossing. It gives you guys these X's of different locations that it can be. Now, I will say that some of the map locations are correct and some of them are not. Or they are just missing opportunities to actually have those red X's presented. So... Not all of them are marked or might not necessarily always be in the correct spot. Now, that is one of the few things that I can say that is incorrect in the entire map. So just be aware of that in its entirety. So let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and move on to the map that we actually opened up. Now, this one is a great opportunity to go ahead and find whatever herb or plant that you guys are looking for. You guys can see over here, there's different boats and train like locations and where they typically will spawn at when you guys join a brand new session. So if you guys are looking for boats or canoes, again, different locations where you guys can find them, different spots that I would tell you guys to go to. Again, I didn't need this. I already knew all this information. Th same thing with a lot of the where the trains will spawn naturally for the day. You can see that I always recommended McFarland's Ranch down here because that one almost always have spawned in, even when you fast traveled, things like that. And even when you're just outside of Flat Neck Station, when I was doing my earlier video about the other Red Dead uh, method for Mad Mazar, I was just outside of Flat Neck Station and trains kept going by before I actually started that video. So... Lots of really good information that you guys can use here to be as successful as possible every single day without necessarily even listening to my videos every single day. And now this is all the information that I had for you guys was that was given to you every single day. This is how I kind of learned over time in order to actually do this. Now, this is actually how I learned to find all the different herbs and where patches were actually at. And then over time, I just knew where they were and I never had to ultimately resort back to the specific one any longer. But yeah, you can come in here and you can change it to whatever plant that you guys would want. So I say you're looking for desert sage, which is going to be down, you know, in the new Austin area. You guys have the specific groups of where you guys want to go to. You can see there's a nice grouping down in this area, down by Plainview, where Mad Mazar actually likes to hang out and all that wonderful information. So definitely use these two maps to your advantage and i'll definitely do my best to actually go ahead and leave the links in the description down below but it's the same person it's just labeled red dead online map and then the red dead online collectors map so they are technically two separate things but anyway let's get back into what we wanted to go over to a little bit earlier in the video all right well i have to admit it's nothing overtly exciting but i let the game kind of play in the background while we were taking a look at the map and you guessed it it's still 421 whenever that bounty decides to go away i don't know it's been like that for a really long time i'd love to know if anybody else is experiencing this but for whatever reason my game is forever stuck at 421 at least it's not the middle of the night so for me i always play in daylight but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.